Yeah, no, it's just too bad. We're having, you know, again, we're having a hard time putting back-to-back -back games together, like the way you want to play. I mean, we played a game last night where, again, uh, that was, I, I just thought it was just, a, it was a great 60 minutes of hockey. Every facet of our game was good last night. Tonight, it was, it, it was tough, and, uh, but that's, it was Augustana as well. Um, I want to give credit where credit's due. They were the better team tonight. They got, you know, they got that first goal. Um, we gave it to them, and then, and then, I, then they, they, they converted. They get a second goal. And I just thought they did a great job playing with the lead. They played heavy. They played strong. Um, we didn't get a lot of second chance opportunities. I didn't think we were very quick on the forecheck. When we needed to get uh, a second guy active on the forecheck, we were, we, we were, we were slow to the puck. And, uh, you know, I think it's a testament to the quick puck movement of Augustana, the desperation that they had in their game. And, uh, no, they, they, uh, they did that to us. Does some of that come from that experience we talked about in the week leading up to this and how they were able to break experience in and power through? No, I, it's just, I, I don't know. I'm not, I, I don't want to get, I think we're getting way too deep, you know. And I can say all these things and make these little buzzwords sound good, but at the end of the day, um, they played a very good game. And they, they played, again, like I said, they, I don't want to get redundant here, but they played well with the lead. And, uh, you know, we had a few, we had a few spurts, but that's all we had is a few spurts. We didn't, our, our, you know, our, I, I think our effort consistently wasn't where it needs to be. I thought our physicality, I thought we, our physicality was good last night. It wasn't good tonight. Like you just can't, you know, you, you can't take, you, you're, you know what, you're lucky if you can take uh, time off and you can, you, 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 you can take obviously uh, parts of the game off and think you can get, get away with it and get rewarded. I just don't believe, I, I believe in karma, and if you do that, you're going to lose. Once in a while, hey, you're gonna, your goaltender's going to play well, your power play might be clicking, you might get some oper, opportunities, but you know, you have to, you, you have to work, um, you have to work 60 minutes, you have to work hard, and you have to work smart to have success, and it's just, uh, and, and again, I don't, you, you can even work hard, but if they work harder, and if they work smarter, you know, the other team's going to have an advantage right there, so um, the team that loses a lot of times on Friday has that desperation on Saturday, and the team that wins on Friday think they have that desperation on Saturday. But again, it just isn't, uh, you know, it's just, it's just not meant to be, and it wasn't meant to be tonight because, again, I thought, again, it was, uh, I thought the team in blue, you know, it had a lot more, you know, they just had a lot more desperation in their game. You talk about just getting over that, you know, the feeling that you think you have desperation when the other team has won. Where does that stem from? And it's not just a, a Bemidji thing tonight. I mean, this is the, the thing that's happening in this league where, you know, you see it split, split, split. Oh, I know. And I talked to our – I actually just told our guys just in the locker room. I said, we'll talk more on Monday. I, I just need to – I need to obviously sleep on some things and talk to the guys on Monday. But you, you're spot on, Jared. I mean, I, I'm sure there's – so I'm sure it's a broken record. If you talk to every coach, I'm sure they're saying – if they're not saying the same thing, it's obviously, again, it's, it's very similar – um, with their coaching staff, with their players. It's just like it's frustrating because what happens is that you f you, there's times you feel really good about where you're at. Like last night, I, you know, you felt good. Tyler felt good. I felt good where we were at last night. We were just happy with every facet of our game. You tell your players that they feel good about it as well, and they should. And uh, then, then this happens tonight, and you're at home, and you, know, you want to put you, – you, you just kind of want to go back-to-back. -back. You want to have back-to-back -back good outings, back-to-back -back efforts, and you don't get it, then you go, oh, crime and you're back to square one you know what I mean and uh you know but that's everybody you know but we got northern Michigan and you know, they just went five out of six points this weekend so now they're on a little bit of a high note they're feeling good about themselves they saw how they had some success we're going into their building it's gonna be a great test is that where the kind of the roles reverse then where you guys go in there with a little bit more of that desperation coming off of the loss oh, I don't know about that now we're again I think now again, we're thinking way too deep and, uh, what, you know, it's, 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 we're trying to get ahead of ourselves. I wouldn't get too far ahead of ourselves. The game has to be played on the ice. Um, but there's just, there's just a lot at stake right now. We're down to eight games, and uh, everybody's down to, you know, it's single digits in games played. And uh, this is going to be very interesting. You just want to, you know, like anyway, you want to you get into a rhythm, and you want to get, you you get on some kind of roll. That's it. I mean, that's, and that's everybody.